Chrissy. And I'm going in the Goodwill. We'll see what we get there, huh? Okay, so here we are in the aisle that has little grab bags. And I'm looking around. Look at all those buttons. They don't look very vintage, so. A lot of crafting stuff. Um, something caught my eye. I'm gonna bring it into focus here in a second. Oh, maybe not. Makeup brushes. Those look like nice makeup brushes. And not seeing very much here. Of course, oh, the big heart. That was a nice heart. Some glasses and stuff. I did notice these little blue cobalt jars, but they were missing their lids, so I left them there. And I'm trying to get around people so I don't get their picture. And this one lady was just taking her dear sweet time. Oh, those were cute. I They were like little teal glasses. Like, I don't, they're kind of small for juice glasses. So I don't know what they were been for, but they were cute. Um, lots of frames. Not really into the frame. There was one frame I should have picked it up, but I didn't. It wasn't that one. It's the owl one, which you'll see later. Now, I went over to the clear glass and skipped around. Look at that cute little football tray. Wouldn't that be cute for uh, Super Bowl weekend? This was a really nice dish. But this one bird, his beak is broken. But it was a really nice dish. So I'm going to clear glass. Skip it around in this store a little bit because there was quite a few people around and I just didn't want to be bothered. Um, this bowl was pretty. It wasn't anything, you know, it wasn't vintage or anything, but it was real pretty. And some plate, cake plate stand thingies. Nothing really nice looking. Um, some pictures, the coffee espresso thing. These were cute. Now that one looked like a jelly jar or a sugar bowl, but I, the other one, if it was a creamer, it didn't really have a handle. I guess you just held it by the rooster's tail or something. I don't know, maybe I should have gotten them. I don't know. This, I don't think chickens are big right now, but again, maybe I should have got them. Those were salt and pepper shakers. Um, these were individual teapots, cups, and some more pictures. This guy is a salt and pepper shaker, but there's only one, and I looked so hard for that. Then I jumped over to Christmas, again, just because I'm moving around and trying to stay away from people. He was kind of neat, but he wasn't vintage. This was a real heavy box, Mikasa, so I needed to see what was in it, and it was like the nativity scene, so... I left that. This was cute. I don't have a clue what it is. Probably a sugar bowl. I don't know. But um, I was trying to lift it up on the bottom. But he was kind of quirky looking. And this little house with the brushes in it. That was cute. Not vintage, though. Um, that was a nice piece. It was metal. And ornaments um that i picked up and looked at it because it was from barnes and noble but i don't know this was a uh, mug from germany and at first i thought it was a shaving mug because of the handle but the inside didn't have the place for the brush so but it did say germany on the bottom but i left it because it wasn't i really didn't think it was a mug i think it was a shaving mug there's an owl I have two of those that I'm trying to sell, so I'm not going to pick up any more. There was only one of these, um, otherwise I would have picked them up because I think ODI is a good name. These were beautiful. They look like dogwood. They were brown, but the handles looked like a little tree branch, and um, they were very pretty. 
very pretty, but I don't know that that color would have been a very big seller. Um, oh, Sweet tem oh, Temptations. There was three or four of those. There's a little blue one up here, too. This, I don't know what this was and why it was in that bowl. There's no name on it. And it actually looked like something that belonged in an aquarium. But I didn't take it. Um, oh, I just noticed that red-handled thing right now. That was probably Emile Henry. Darn it. Okay. So, I wanted to show you these uh, Temptations. They're kind of pretty. Mm, oh, look at that dish. Isn't that something? Kate Spade. Yes, indeed. And I had no chips or cracks. So I picked that up. I think it was $2.39. I think it was. And the little rooster bowl was really nice. And the lemons was nice too. Some big platters down there. And I uh, flip over here to the glasses. As you can see, they're just regular plain clear glasses. Nothing to write home to your mom about. If you wrote to your mom and shot glasses this little shot glass was kind of cute the design was very mid-century and at first I thought it was a good tar pick and I was looking at it and it was kind of neat but I didn't get it because I don't know if shot glasses sell I don't know um, but I didn't get it and then I went over here to see if there was anything good in the wine glasses these got my attention they're very delicate on top but the bottom is chunky and they have the bubbles in them and if you look on the bottom it's very clear look how clear that is i should have gotten them but they were two dollars and 49 cents each and they're i don't know i think they're cordials cordial glasses and there was only two so i left them behind um, this is what you guys consider the brown section back on the East Coast. I hear you guys talking. It's the wood section to us. So they have everything that's like wood and stuff like that all bunched together. Um, there's some crafting stuff. There was some frames. There was that plate was pretty, but I got another plates. That tin was neat, but it wasn't old. Although it would have been really good, looked good in my patriotic assembly lodge. Um, plates, plates. Oh, these were kind of different. At first I thought it was a tomato, but it wasn't a tomato. It was like a poppy, poppy flower. And then I checked those to make sure they weren't Kate Spade. And I do get tricked sometimes by mainstay. Because they can, oh, there's the owl. So that's an owl frame. It's not old. It has a barcode on it. But it was just kind of neat. And um, I don't know. I left it. <laughs> this was a little, I think this was a junk journaling. See all those little like buttons that I think you would embellish like your cards and stuff with? But I left that. And then there's a recipe box, not old at all, and wasn't written in, it was kind of newish. Um, lots of albums, photo albums. And what was that? Oh, Derby Racer. And there was some old wrapping, um, some wallpaper on the bottom. And then I got to this side. And what did I see on this side? Did I see anything on this side? I don't think so. No. Just a lot of like home good stuff. And um, just, you know, stuff you can go to the store and just get. So a lot of purple and pink. But nothing vintage. And then I went to the clear glass faces. And it, the shelves were really full. But now that one was kind of weird, that little bottle. But it didn't interest me. But it was just weird looking and let's see hmm nope all right oh look at the wedding topper i was gonna get it but i didn't 
Just haven't been up to shopping lately. I don't know why. Just really not feeling it. I don't have a clue what that is. It was plastic. So I don't even know what that is. Um, oh, the owl. Not old at all. So I left him. He was in good shape, though. I went to the cut glass area because I am told that cut glass is coming back. So I wanted to see if there was something brilliant that just stood out to me. And I like that piece on the end with the little knobs on it, but it, it just didn't wow me. So I didn't take a chance. To, and I already have a little uh, bas crystal basket like that, so I didn't get that one. And now I'm over at the candlesticks. Um, yeah, well, uh, always hoping to find a fairy lamp over here in the candle section, and I am always disappointed because I don't. So, no fairy lamp today. Um, lots of candles. Lots of candles. Some of them are good, in good shape. I actually was going to get that one, but. Okay, so here's what I ended up buying. This is my haul for you guys because I'm making another video for you. So there's the Kate Spade, some things for my assemblage that I'm making, um, some vintage napkins, some men's clothing that can bring some resale value, and some Christmas stuff. This is a vintage tablecloth. It has mushrooms, onions, tomato, garlic, I think, on there. And then those chess pieces. I hope you enjoyed.